Jota and he scored that wonder goal it was Hartson-esque wasn't it the goal at the weekend <laughs> <laughs> I saw that today the way, the way cool. skip, by, yeah. skip by the players we're, we're, we're <laughs> the 30 yard run to get on the ball maybe yeah. that's, what they, <laughs> that's what they said in the sun today that's how they described it <laughs> exactly yeah. John where were, where were you 21 years ago today oh. Craig Moore I've not got a clue what yeah, about you I was flying about somewhere in Glasgow uh, yeah. so was this man here <laughs> John, yeah, 26 years of age, Paul, 47 now. Yeah. Um, you know, where where do the years go? It's incredible, really, isn't it? You've got tell everyone what happened. You oh, signed for Celtic. I signed for Celtic 21 years ago yep. today. Today, um, yeah. today, mate. Yeah. Who so, was there? Um, where, where was it? What happened? Was that well, what hotel? happened was, was yeah. obviously I I flown up and um, it was the same day as uh, Celtic played right um, uh, in Ryan Giggs's testimonial mm-hmm. at Old Trafford. Wow. Yeah. Um, and I can remember sitting in the number one Devonshire Gardens, mm-hmm. gardens watching that game fine hotel others and, are available and yeah. <laughs> thinking to myself how on earth am I going to get into this team yeah. you know mm. I come from Coventry yeah. uh, Gordon Strachan and I'd played a big role in uh, yeah. trying to get me up to sign for Celtic and um, I had to wait a couple of days obviously for the players to come back and get back into training but no, it was fantastic. It was a huge, huge moment in my life coming to play for Celtic and then having a glorious five years with the club, played in a fantastic team. You know, the history is all there. Um, you know, so for me, you know, I got a lot of goals. Uh, I played in a magnificent side and, you know, it's a very special club and, uh, you know, I'm very honoured and privileged to have uh, to have won the hoops, you know, o- over the years. So there's some fantastic players that have done that. And I've got to know you now. Obviously, we watched you and I watched you, Craig. Um, but Celtic's in your heart, isn't it? You know, you were at Arsenal, you were proud of it. West Ham United, Coventry, Luton, you know, where, where it was early on for you. But you really do care about Celtic and it, it's there. You've well, made think, a big impression. I think with Celtic, I think, you know, you, you look at other players that, you know, when, when Chris Sutton was coming through at Norwich, I'm, I'm not too sure if he ever dreamt of playing for Celtic. Um, did did Gat ever dream of, you know, you can have dreams, but... For me, it was a case of uh, when I was at Arsenal, Luton, you never think these massive moments in your life are going to come. You know, you can maybe, you know, think, well, I hope they do. So I think what happens when you when you sign for a club like Celtic or Rangers, they're global clubs and the fans, if the, if you have a good time in, in at the club, the fans take to you. So it's when you're at the club, you take to the club then. That's when you become part of the family. That's when you really get it. The size of, of, for me, of Celtic Football Club, the genuine um, support that I received, not through just on the pitch. When I when I was going through my cancer battle, mm-hmm. you know, some yeah. of the you know some of the letters and, and and the flowers and the messages from from supporters, um, you know, it, it meant the world to me. Do you know? So I think then I think when I when I left, you know, when you eventually leave. You realise that you've left a giant, you know, and it's very hard to replace that. It is. It's it's, it's spot on because I'm. I mean, again, I I trialled briefly, around about the same time that John was at Arsenal, and at that stage, at that stage, if you you would tell me that I would end up playing at, at Glasgow Rangers, knew the size of the club, knew the following worldwide. I, I mean, I don't even think you would have thought that um, at that time, John, in terms of how big, uh, because you just weren't involved in that. I think personally, I can speak on my behalf. It was a relationship that that obviously grew over time because I was at the club for twelve years and and you have that success, um, and and you're accepted by the football club and and then all of a sudden you know the the spin offs in terms of you know now what what happens after playing and all that sort of stuff. John's got a love for Celtic. I've got a love for Rangers. There's n- there's nothing uh, there's nothing bad about that. It's wonderful. You know, it, it, that's the way it it, is. you know you, yeah. you you've had great experiences at a football club. But again, Paul, when people are kind of dig a little bit deeper into, into myself, living in Australia and all that sort of stuff. I didn't know a lot about the football club mm. and I'm not embarrassed to say that, but I tell you what, I know a lot about it now yeah. and I was very lucky to experience some amazing and, years.